Good day guys, we are back once again to uh, show you some exciting and uh, exciting actions that you can learn with ease. This time around we are going straight to a uh, double neck choke. These are things that happen on a regular basis. You can be a victim. So you need to keenly learn this and then pick one thing or two out of it so that you can always uh, know how to defend yourself when it happens to you so we're going straight to the action right now uh, we've, we, we will always remind you because we have done this neck choke but we've done a single hand neck choke so you can refer to the video the previous ones and then check it and look at this one to compare this one we're going to deal strictly on double hand neck choke so you see how you can align how it goes so learn keenly so that you can always defend yourself out of it but for our first timers i will always remind you do not hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell and leave your comment and we always say thumbs up to our already esteemed subscribers so we go straight now to the actions now stay tuned and enjoy yourself okay now this is how it goes double neck choke like if you can preview the what i mentioned or i explained about choking if it has to do with anything that has to do with your neck which which uh, cause you to choke the first thing is you must learn how to sustain your breath hold your breath for a second or uh, two however time you that will allow you to plan or think of what to do so just learn to choke and um, hold your breath and then take the action so now now lock up okay lock the neck very tight all right now free okay now if that neck choke is very tight as it is if you really notice it changed my voice when i was trying to speak so i had to let him loose so that i can explain so now because if it locks up and you try to breathe it you get choked but when you deliberately seize your breath you won't be choked okay now let's go i have seized my breath so that's number one now let's go to the action now lock up it's as simple as that Okay, now watch this again. And then mm, straight to the solar plexus. Alright, you take that swift action, no time to waste. Immediately you strike the hands with force open straight to the solar plexus. And that hands it. Okay, alright, let's take it one more time. I lock up, seize my breath. Oh, aye! That is it. Okay. All right. Now that's that for the first one. We have them in different ways and different actions. So now we're still going to take the second one. So you learn how this one goes, then you can learn the other ones that will come. So whichever one you choose to do, good for you. Okay. Now begin. That looks simple but hard equally. Now it goes with a sequence. Now let me show the sequence how it goes. It was just one swift action, but there are sequences that led to the final action. Now this is how it goes. It locks up, turn in the force, and that turning goes with the elbow strike to within the elbow, I mean the shoulder region here. The strike goes there. Now with that strike, you have already grabbed this hand. Then swing. Wow! My boot. All right. I hope that is clear enough. But for more emphasis, let's repeat it again. Because I want you to really take note of each move and understand it. Because if you make any wrong move, you might find it difficult 
to actually execute. But in the real sense, if you're on the right track, it is easy and simple. Now lock up again. You turn with a force in. Now with that force you're turning in, will leave, will free you a bit. There. So that force goes with the elbow. See that? Now from here now, you lock here, and you still use the elbow to aid the swinging. See that's it? Down. And finally it goes down. You can decide to even still continue to lock the hand this way if you want to and then complete the action. Alright? Okay. So now let's take it one swift move, lock up, one, then I go. That is it. Okay. You can compare the two the first and this one. Learn both. Whichever one that you can grab fast or easy, you may do. But we are still going for another one. You can see pick out of the whole lot that we are going to showcase. And it locks up again. Now from here, remember, seize your breath. Strike here. Bam. This time, I'm going to be a little bit subtle because it is very dangerous. That strike, if I apply so much force, will, it will lead to the dislocation of the elbows. So for us to continue this action without causing the ma a, a major uh, damage or major injury, I have to show. This is just to show. But the real action is to apply the full force. Bam! and it will shock and when it shocks this hand falls out and from here bam! take a double strike in there and that's done so I want you to understand it very clearly lock up again why I will not take this full I have explained it because it has to do with it's very dangerous if I strike you can, can see how it's jacking just with this so if I take a full action here, ah, the elbows, both hands, he is gone in fact. So now, I just take it lightly, then bam, lightly, and then complete with this double strike action, pressing in, okay? Now, that is simple enough, but simple, but very, very dangerous. If you're just trying it out, Please be careful. But if you are taking the real action, please apply the force needed. But if you are trying it out, just do it lightly. By the time you do it lightly, the person you are using will jerk and in fact will tell you what he is feeling. Then you will understand that that thing you just did is not just a child's play. Alright? How many is that? That should be three. Three. Now let's take another one. Right. First thing now, I seize my breath. Hey! Mm. Hope you saw that. All right. We we'll take that action again. Let me break the sequence. Because when it chokes me, I won't be able to talk. So I have to seize my breath. So now let me explain now before we take the action. Now I've, when he locks up, lock, chokes me, I seize my breath. Then the next thing, I wave down. You can wave to whichever way you choose to. If you want to take your action from this angle, you can wave to this angle, sink in, and then place your hand, and then uh, swift, or this way. So I choose to take this way. So now let's take that again. Lock. Oh, that is it. Then boom. Okay. Oh. All right. Now to satisfy someone's curiosity, I just showed that this way. Let's go this way so that you know that it, you can take any side you wish to.
That's how it goes. Any side of your choice. Just the most important thing is wave down. He wouldn't know what you're trying to do. He would think you're trying to find a way to escape. Or you just wave down, lock up. When you wave down, there will be a little free from his from his uh, locking. Now you use here down, lock the wrist, support with here, and then come up with the force. The wrist here is already under lock. Uh, uh, All right, that should be number four. Okay, now let's take the last but not the least. However, we might add more if there's need, but let's take this as the last for now. Now lock up again. Okay, now this is how this one goes. With a head nod. All right? Hmm. All right, now this is completely locked lock up again. One, strike him in. Strike. The strike is as if you are you are landing on the middle side, the inner side of the elbow. Take your hand up, lock there. Now when you strike there in, you are landing with bam. As simple as that. But said you have to be very careful. Now, that's a question that might come up. Now look. There's a space here. Now what if he locks like this? Very tight. Not thin here. Okay. Now, now you can see that you can't do any firm lock by making it making it tight. Because someone might ask, okay, what if there's no space here for you to do that? Now you can see that by locking it closely here now, he can't have a tight lock. So which makes it even easier for you to even break in with ease, all right? So I don't like, know what like, else. Like this is tight. Yeah, locking it, giving the space is more tight than making it close. So like I said, if I want to do a bonus, now from where it's locking now, you can see the elbow is facing out. Now if I do a clamp, it's just as much as this. The same effect, the clamp in. I see that I'm only pressing, but if I have to add pressure and strike in, it will shock the elbow and it could lead to dislocation. Okay, so this is just a bonus. Like I said, please always be careful when you are doing things that has to do with the joint dislocation. Pressure, too much pressure will cause damage so since we are trying to show you have to know the level of pressure you apply when you're taking the action for real then you apply the appropriate pressure boom and what you need will be uh, established okay now so let's leave you here for today we will come your way next time with more of neck choke and any other kind of uh, move. But for now, let me always remind our first timers please do us a favor, hit the bell, subscribe, and then leave your comment. Then I, we will not forget to remind, remember or to, to appreciate our esteemed subscribers. Please do continue to watch our videos and continue to stay tuned to us. Thank you. Thank you.